thank God, knock, knock. The last one, as a matter of fact, it was two nights. It was Friday and Saturday because it's uh, Oscars down in Palm Springs. And um, we've gotten closer. What can I say? Donna adopted a, a child, but that was after she left the show. But, but bottom line is we followed each other and stayed with each other. And I, it's, it, it's kind of like, maybe it's not high school, but it's college. We had college and now we're still college, not roommates, but the next best thing. And that's invaluable, I think, in this business. And you're right, in Hollywood and in the business. It's really hard. And uh, it's funny because I have a mutual friend in common with Donna. That's how she came on this podcast. And I was going to go with this mutual friend to those shows and Palm Springs. But like, oh, you're the, kidding. The timing didn't work what out was, for me. I, it didn't work I knew out. him. Gregory Zarian. He's in he's an actor. Oh, Zarian. I think, you know, him. Yeah. He's really good friends with Donna. Yeah. I mean, he's not makeup or hair or any of that. No, she doesn't. No. Need it. She does herself. She Although does she sounds somebody new. She told me which she doesn't need because she does her everything herself. God love her. God. Producers, that's why they kiss her when she comes you know, through the gate and go, goes to the set. Um, she's halfway there. In fact, all the way there when she goes to rehearse on the set. Uh, but there are people in, in her past or it, it, that you run into and you, and you see and you think, wait a minute, that this family goes on and on and on and on. But I think we're blessed, Joe, Michelle and Donna, to have had that time as a first base and now we're into second and third base and we're going to continue to work together and it's such a are you shocked at like just how like you said those shows sold out i know when you guys go out to dinner all three of you together there's a lot of fanfare heads are turning like are you shocked at just how much interest there still is in this well show? i'm not as aware of that because i i run every night i my workout my shrink i don't see a psychiatrist and i'd be a a festival for a psychiatrist for sure. But I go and, uh, you know, what I call flush the toilet by taking a 10 mile. And now the time is reduced because with COVID, I've been going every single day without a break at all. Uh, so I'm like burned out. But but I, I, I've done, uh, oh, now I've lost the track of because I always go to the side thing. But uh, they don't so much because if I'm doing the thing, it's a ponytail. There's no makeup. It's just, a, you know, whatever, not sweats, but tights and you name it. So I think it's less than it was, say, initially. And it might be true if I'm in New York or I have a city where it's I'm more Joan Van Ark the way that you know on that. But in this, it's, you know, ponytail, sweats and do the 10 miles and nose to the grindstone. See, this is why we're Gemini's connecting because I say that all the time. No, I don't run outside, but I run on a treadmill every morning at 530. So I do it in the morning, but I say the same thing. I don't go to a psychiatrist. I don't go to a therapist. I would probably be like a, a case study if I did, but people don't realize you run and it's like flushing the toilet. It's you flushing. Flush, the, do you, you say flush it, the toilet? I say that and I say you, you get it all out. And I say, if I didn't do this in the morning, I can't even imagine that you wouldn't want to be around me. It just, it's like a reset every I morning. I love right? this because it is true. You get the negativity, the down, the dark. You get whatever is actually holding you back. You sort that out and see toward the horizon, if you will, ahead of you and go forward. And I, because I don't want to waste the money. I want to buy either a new outfit or more makeup. So- <laughs> I, I don't want that. And I, I think I may go to my grave. COVID has been a test like none other for me, for my personality. L unbelievable. And I'm not out of it yet. Uh, I'm not proud of that, but I just can't shake it. And I think there are a lot more people who are anxious still because of the difference. But you don't hear about it until you hear here in LA of drive-by killings and drive by hitting people on bicycles or things, getting out of the car to see if they're moving. And even if they're not moving and they are dead, the car keeps going. I can't, that is every night in our news. And my husband is a no, uh, former NBC news reporter and anchor. And all the stories are very black. Now that's mostly what's out there. But we're both aware of it on very different levels. Me, because it's my inside, my heart and soul. 
that goes out to the and the people to the Florida situation right now. I oh know. my goodness. And I'm worried about my eye makeup. Come on. <laughs> I, I get it. I mean, I, I'm in New York City mostly. I'm going to be in LA for like January and February. So I'm there. Like our cities have both been hit hard. Like New York is very. I mean, Chicago's a close third, but definitely New York and LA. It's like nowhere else. And co- now one thing that post COVID and they say post, I'm not sure. Um, traffic here in LA beyond. Because in New York, you can take a cab, a subway, whatever thing. I never do the subway, but uh, it's a car or a cab. But it, it's tricky. It's tricky. That's all I got to say. And I don't think I'm the only one still suffering. It's, it's, it is, it's, it's tricky. And yes, well, I'm going to be in LA in January and I don't drive. I know, so. I'm going to say, you know, coffee, something, because uh, two, Gem- <laughs> two Geminis for 30 minutes will get we can take care of everything in 30 minutes and off you go and so do i gemini's uh, our minds work this is why we all gemini's get along because our minds work very fast people think we're not listening i'm like i heard everything you said don't worry about it yeah yeah but put it with a cancer because uh, that's my husband he's cool chill you know watching uh, the latest uh, you know shows on cable and you name it all those great shows I'm lucky if I catch a newscast because I'm so busy. I am much the same way. What is the best thing about being friends with Donna and Michelle? Like what is what is like a typical night out for you guys look like? Well, it's it's all different because David has a, a David. Michelle has David, her son, Farentino. Jimmy Farentino is his father. And that was Michelle's first marriage. Um it's different, uh, Donna and Chloe, and I have a say, we all three, I didn't realize, whoa, all three have one child. Now, there's something in that kind of, but we are closer because we went through a lot together in the work scene, and now life has taken over and other jobs and other things. But there's something about, it's like going home for Thanksgiving or something. There's a touchstone of the similar needs and adjustments. And I remember Donna called me once and she had had several dear friends uh, and and I think a a doctor friend, but had passed away. And she said, it's long, I'll never forget this. I was sitting in my car here. I go with the chills again. She said, she had three in a row, something like that. And she said, it's lonely, it's getting lonely where it was three people that, you know, none of us who are busy see anybody regularly 25, you know, 24 seven. But when you lose one that is part of your heart and soul and that happens in a row, that is lonely somehow. It's one thing with your mate, but it's another two with the ones that life brings you and your work brings you. And when those go, that's a big chunk of your DNA. And Donna and Michelle and I, I think, have uh, intermixed somewhat the DNA. I, and the I, chit-chat goes all over the place. It's all over the place. I love that. Well, you were on Knott's Landing for its entire run. I know you left, like, before the last season. Like I did a pilot. I had a young uh, Chris Maloney, gorgeous young guy, and it was an older woman and a younger guy. I thought if I wrote a script, I couldn't get something more wonderful and because I wanted to be the Donna I wanted to wear the short skirts the legs showing the you know I, I wanted to own it that way 